Today on this channel, guys, it's the return of the Meepo Board, the latest version. I was told to call this the 1.51. I'm not sure what the 0.1 is, but we're sure gonna find out. Alright, so here we have it, the latest version of the Meepo board. Now Kieran has asked me to call this version 1.51. I'm not exactly sure what's changed, maybe something to do with the battery. But anyway, I've got my knife ready, so let's open this thing up and see what we get inside. So let's open this up and straight away we have the Meepo board. Looks pretty good, similar to another board I know. What else do we have inside here? Seem to have some kind of gaskets. Got a bunch of his business cards. And, and it looks like a slightly upgraded version, but very similar. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We also have a Mipu armband. Very fetching. I don't think I'm the kind of guy that wears armbands. Never mind. Never mind. And a bunch of his business cards. And a bunch of his business cards. Yet yeah, again, we'll give these out if any kids start asking questions. And this time, we seem to have a new manual. And it seems to be well printed. With a picture of the old board, not the new. But the manual looks not bad. Take a look at that in a little bit. So first impressions, just eyeballing this new deck, I gotta say, this deck looks pretty similar to the deck of another famous e-board. I'll let you guys guess which one I'm talking about. At the back here we have some very coarse grip tape, and in the middle, some slightly less coarse, with this lovely arrow design running in between the two. Over here we have the standard Meepu handle, which is pretty useful if you wanna carry the board. Along the edge we have the Meepu logo, and in the middle, I can feel this nice W concave. Now that's designed to support the middle of your foot when you're riding the board. At the front, we now have an arrow to indicate it's the front. Pretty nice. Turn this board over. We have some 90 millimeter polyurethane wheels attached to some pretty chunky looking trucks. The battery case hasn't changed much since the previous version, but now we have the logo embossed onto it. The charging port has a lovely weather seal, and I gotta say this new deck feels pretty nice. The ESC case looks very similar to the previous version, except this time we've got the logo again. The power button and power indicator, well they look pretty standard. And at the back we have the now famous 300 watt Meepu Hub motors. Now, on first inspection, this nano remote looks identical to the previous version. The trigger is just the same as is the shape, but there are a few differences. Now, we have three speed settings instead of two, and the button for forward and reverse is no longer protruding, so it's not so easy to hit it when you don't mean to and go flying off the board. So after many days of relentless snow in the UK, we've finally got some sun. So we've come down to the park and we're going to put this new Meepu through his paces. Oh. 
All right, so we are out here with the Mipu 1.51. Let's get this board on. And the familiar beeping sound. Let's get the remote on. Now, I always like to check with these remotes that we're heading in the right direction. And we're already set. Now, I nearly forgot this remote has got three speed settings. So let's dial it all the way up to high speed. All right, for safety's sake, I'm gonna put this helmet on. And while we're doing that, let's give this new Mipu deck a flex test. Some pretty good flex on the new Mipu deck. All right, let's give this thing a shot. So first impressions of this new Mipu deck, it does make the ride feel quite a lot smoother. Pretty good. Straight out of the box, these trucks feel pretty good. No need to adjust them. I don't know if it's just me, but this new version seems ever so slightly faster. Maybe it's just because of the new battery. I'm going to flip it into the middle right mode. See what that feels like. Feels like a good mood for guys that are not that confident. However, that's not me. Back up to top mode. I'm coming up to a bit of a hill now. Let's see how the Mipu handles the hill. Pretty good. Not a problem. Well, we're slowing a little bit, but slowing a little bit but the Mipu is handling this pretty steep hill pretty damn well. Not bad at all. Unfortunately I picked a park with a load of stones and sticks on the path. So we're heading down the hill pretty fast now. Let's see if the brakes work. Yeah they work pretty good. Smooth controllable. All right, just for fun, let's do a comparison between the old Mipu board and the new Mipu board. Now, I guess the main difference here is this one's pretty damn dirty and this one's pretty clean. But you can see the difference in deck shape. This one looks a lot nicer. On the underside, there's not much difference, apart from we've got the new battery box. Just a quick note before we start the speed test, we've got three bars rather than four. However, GPS app out, let's see how fast this board goes. to have lots of juice left. So in conclusion, what do we think of this new Mipu 1.51? Well, to be honest, not a lot has changed since my previous review. The charge time is still about three hours. The top speed is still 21 miles an hour and the range is about seven to eight miles, riding at a decent pace. The remote, well, it's got a little bit of improvement, but it's still essentially the same remote as before. One thing I do have to say though, I'm quite surprised how much of a difference this new deck's made. It makes for a much smoother ride with a bit of bounce in the deck. It really does feel like a whole new board. I've been so 
The new version of the remote doesn't have the same problem that we had before, where you could easily accidentally press the reverse button and go spinning off in the other direction. That's another big improvement. Since my last review, Mipu have basically established themselves as being one of the best beginner boards. It's reliable, it goes pretty far, pretty fast, and the customer service is reportedly pretty good. The new version of the battery in this board seems to experience a lot less sag. It still does have some, but it kicks in a lot later. That means you won't experience the same kind of power drop in hill climbing speed quite as soon. Now, I'm not going to say it's all good with this board. There are some bad points. With these hub motors, you do tend to feel every bump in the road. And the remote is definitely not the best remote on the market. But for $400, there's very little else you could buy that's as good as this board. Today on this channel, guys, we're going to be checking out the latest version of the new Mipu board. I was told to call this the 1.5.1. I'm not sure what the 